Hi guys, my name is Phil. I'm a filmmaker and editor from Germany, now living in Australia. I'm shooting this video today, I'm filming this video today, even though it's crazy hot. Uh, it's, it feels like 45 degrees outside and we are in peak summer. It's, uh, the humidity is through the roof. But I didn't want to th let that stop me from, from making this video, so here we are. <laughs> if you're new to this channel, hello and welcome. Thank you very much for watching this video. I've been in Australia for around two years now and I've made some pretty amazing experiences, seen some incredible places and uh, also made some shitty experiences. And we all know that what you see on social media is only 10% of the whole picture at most, right? Um, I think we always have to remind ourselves of that if we see other people's content out there. The reason why I'm creating this video today is because I want to keep myself accountable and I want to document my own story more. I've been wanting to create more YouTube videos for years now, but there always seemed to be something holding me back. It could be a scarcity mindset, it could be time constraints, it could be just thinking that I don't have enough time or um, thinking too much about what other people will think about my, my videos. It could be health issues and just fear in general. There are so many things that can hold you back from actually following through with what you want to achieve. When I think too much about all of these things and at the same time I wanna, I'm, I'm still pushing myself to create something, I find myself thinking, what do I actually want to create? What do people want to see? And how can I achieve a situation where people want to connect with me more, people want to follow my, my journey, my stories. But at the same time, I also find myself thinking that I don't want to pressure my creativity too much, if that makes sense. And that's actually really important for me. If I come from this place of thinking about what do other people want to see and I, I pressure myself to come up with ideas, I ultimately find myself often being overwhelmed and not doing anything or coming up with a lot of ideas but not actually following through with them and then still sitting here not doing anything. <laughs> and if you're watching this video today, you probably find yourself in a similar situation in your life. It doesn't necessarily have to be about creating videos and putting yourself out there. It could be anything. But I decided that this has to end today. I don't want to continue living in this mindset anymore. And you know what? We could actually do this together. If you want to connect with me and you're keen on keeping each other accountable, just let me know. Comment below this video, whatever, reach out to me on Instagram. So what I'm doing with this video mainly is I want to keep myself accountable. I want to put myself out there more because it's been one of the most difficult things for me to do over the years and one of the things that's actually been holding me back from creating more videos because I just didn't have the courage to put my face out there and show people what I'm actually doing. So from now on, I will be pushing myself more to share more of my personal journey. And I know that some things are easier to share than others. I already know that. But I think ultimately it will help me to experience growth in my personal journey. I don't want to be dependent on circumstances anymore. And I want to break free from limiting beliefs like I'm not ready to share this because I haven't reached this goal yet. I think the way of saying the journey is the goal comes in handy here. I want to open up to these ideas and I want to stop sweating. <laughs> uh, it doesn't have to be on YouTube, but I want to challenge you today to share more. Share more with your community, with your family, with your friends. Sharing is such an important thing for us humans to do. We are social animals. But it ultimately comes down to this. Sharing is caring. I'm, I'm sure you have heard this saying before. But the thing I realized yesterday is, it's not just about caring for others because you share things with them. Ultimately, by sharing with other people, especially the people that you love, you're caring for yourself. And you know what? I've only done a few talking head scenario videos on my channel so far, but I already find myself overthinking less. Overthinking less in terms of what do people think about my video? How do I look like? How does my English sound? I'm not a native speaker, you know, all those things. Will this even be seen by people? That's one of the questions I always ask myself. It's like, is it worth making this video? Because nobody's gonna see it anyways. And then I remind myself that I've been posting videos in the past where they initially maybe didn't get any attention, but then half a year, one year later, something like that, somebody messages me on Instagram and it goes like, hey, I've watched all these, these small videos that you uploaded about um, healing and uh, all those things. And I'm a poet myself, I write poetry. I find them really nice and, and they really inspire me. And I was like, I felt so, 
I felt so happy about that, you know? It's been such a long time since I actually uploaded those videos, but realizing that some people actually really value those things is amazing. And yeah, I, fe I feel so blessed about each and every person that contacts me about my videos and um, shout out to all you guys who watch them. <laughs> and once again, it's not just about making videos. It's not about being recognized mainly. It's about making connections. It's about finding new friends online, things like that. And uh, this is where my new buddy Ashton comes in. I've recently connected with this guy. His name is Ashton Joe and his YouTube channel is Ashton Joe. One day I just reached out to him because I watched one of his videos and then another one and another one and another one and I was like, wow, this, this guy is really, he seems really nice and, and he seems to be on a similar journey. Um, so I reached out and we, we started talking for a while and then we came to a point where we actually thought, hey, it would be amazing if we could make like a video together even though we're on different continents right now. And there's actually something that we're working on right now. After the release of Unbreakable Will that just recently happened, he um, messaged me again and he was like, man, we should make a podcast, like film a podcast. And uh, I, I can ask you questions about the film because it really inspired me. And I was like, wow, this is what it can lead to, you know? I, I never thought about this when I reached out to him first in the first place. but. Um, it's just so amazing to see things like this develop and uh, to make new friends on, on a different continent that you've never met in, in person, you know? It's so amazing to meet a fellow human who seems to be on a similar journey and to share things, to talk about life. And uh, I don't even care who sees this, you know? I don't care who sees the video that we make together. It's just, we're putting it out there into the universe and we're having a good time. And this is all that counts. And this is another important thing. 99% of the time, I'd say, when you worry about what other people think of you, other people don't even care. They watch your video and if you have like a hair sticking out of your right cheek, you're the one who is worrying about that the most. Yeah, back to the beginning. I just want to share this video because I want to make more videos in general. I want to inspire people to do the same and I really want to connect with you. If you would like to connect with me, reach out to me. Uh, my Instagram is Cinematograph. If you're on YouTube, even better. Let's collaborate. Where am I in life? I am. I just finished my studies here in Australia. Studied for two years. I'm 30 years old. Not many people know me here actually, so I'm trying to build my own business, cinematography business. I'm a specialized camera operator and editor. I love all things um, sports, action sports, nature, nature documentary and documentary in general. So um, if you've seen some of my stuff and you like my work and would like to connect with me, would like to work with me, please reach out um, either here on YouTube or like I said on Instagram, Cinematograph. I would be so happy to meet you and to get in touch with you. Thank you so much for watching this video today and uh, keep going. Be brave and believe. Last but not least, I also want to give a big shout out to my brother Luke Carter, who is doing an amazing job and offering amazing coaching right now, actually. He's been such a big inspiration over the last couple of weeks as well. Uh, I just recently spoke to him again. He's in Bali right now. And Luke, thank you so much for inspiring and uh, encouraging me. And um, I really, I feel really blessed to have people like you in my life. Once again, even if it's just online, it's so amazing to connect and uh, I would love to see you again soon. Okay guys, have a great week, have a great weekend. Uh, I might be turning on the air conditioning again. I just turned it off because it's very loud and uh, I'm melting away. I'm happy this video is done. See you soon.